Hi, I'm Dustin from Action One, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Action One interface. So to get started, the first thing you're going to do is go to actionone.com and then click on the login button on the right. From here, you don't have an account yet, so simply click no account, sign up here. You'll select your region and enter your email address, and then it will email you uh, additional instructions on getting started. Once you have your account created, simply come back to the uh, login screen here, put in your information and sign in. So this is the Action One console. To get started, you'll need to add endpoints. So to do that, click Install Agent at the top right, and then download the installer for your appropriate operating system. We currently support Windows and Mac OS. Uh, just download the installer and run it on your endpoint, at which point that endpoint will show up here under the endpoints list. The endpoints list will show you various information about the endpoints, including the vulnerabilities and missing updates on those endpoints. You can also click on an endpoint to get even more details. You can see all of the information about the endpoint that we gather here. You can click on the missing updates tab to see what updates are available for this particular endpoint. You can click vulnerabilities to see what vulnerabilities are currently affecting this endpoint. And you can also click installed software to see all of the software that is currently installed. So to get started with updating, simply go to the missing updates page, select the update you want to run, and click deploy updates. And here you'll have some options. So it has the update that I selected here. You have the ability to automatically reboot if necessary. Also, if the end user is currently logged into their computer, you can have it show a pop-up message of your choice. The user has until the timeout value that you specify here before they get automatically rebooted. Here, you can have the ability to deactivate Windows automatic updates so that you can make sure that they only run when you specify it through the Action 1 interface. The second tab is to select your endpoints. I already had the one endpoint selected, so that's what I have here. And then you can choose when it's going to run. You can run it now, you can run it later at a specified time. And the missed schedule retry and maintenance window is an important feature that we have as well, which basically says that if the computer is off or otherwise not available, uh, no internet access, for example, when you run the uh, update, it won't get the update at that point, of course. But as long as it reconnects within the deadline that you specify here, it will get the update at that point. If you go to the installed software page, this is going to show you not just the installed software for one endpoint, but all of the endpoints across your entire organization. And you can see it's split out by what different versions are installed. You can select a version and deploy updates to all the endpoints that have that version or uninstall that version. If you go to the vulnerabilities page, similarly, you can see all of the vulnerabilities that are affecting your entire organization. You can click on a CVE to see which endpoints are affected by that particular vulnerability. You can see what software is relevant to it. And then under details, you can also see the information about the CVE itself. Um, you can include, you know, this also includes a link to the NIST website. So you can see all of the details for that CVE that NIST has available for you. To update a vulnerability, you can just click start remediation here and you'll have three options. Most commonly, you'll simply deploy an update to resolve the vulnerability. However, if a vulnerability uh, update is not available, then you have a couple of other options. You can uninstall the software if it's not business critical, that will obviously get rid of the vulnerability, or you can document compensated controls, which basically just says log what you did to deal with the uh, vulnerability. So for example, maybe you, for one vulnerability, you updated, the uh, settings on the application, or you made a firewall rule uh, in your firewall, or maybe you, you simply say, I'm accepting this risk until a update is available. So if you go to update the uh, software, you can choose what endpoints you want to do because I did it from the vulnerabilities page. It selects all endpoints by default, but you can select which groups you want to use, run this on. And again, you can schedule when you want it to run, and you can specify your uh, completion deadline as well. So that shows you a simple view of how to get started with Action 1, how to run your initial updates, 
And then when once you've done your updating and you go back to the dashboard, you should see a dramatic decrease in the vulnerabilities and missing updates that are affecting your organization.